Good day. Welcome to Endurance Room. I hope you're doing well. Today we're taking a look at the Partisan M from Russian Cold Camo. The Partisan suit. This is a legendary Russian masking suit for full body camouflage effectiveness. It's worn by special forces, the recon troops and scout snipers. They make two different versions, the Partisan, which is geared towards summer, it's a little bit lighter, and then the Partisan M, which is designed for spring and fall. It's dual-sided, you get two different camos to work with, both are incredibly effective. They've been making these suits since about 2004, but the origins trace back to World War II Germany. The Germans were one of the first countries to really start exploring camouflage and they made a number of really innovative patterns back in the day that were later adopted by other countries, including Russia. For the summer version of this suit, the Russians adopted the SS Lido pattern, and then for this suit, they adopted the German oak leaf pattern. You've got a lighter and brighter side here for spring and early summer, and then a darker and more subdued side for fall. The suit consists of a hooded anorak style jacket and cargo pants, both of which are very loose and have a relaxed fit, making it very comfortable to move around in. In warmer weather, it sits off of your skin, providing better ventilation. And then in colder weather, you have plenty of room for additional layers for warmth. The jacket in particular was inspired by the smocks that the Germans were using. It's meant to be worn with an LBE setup, a battle belt setup with belt and suspenders similar to my survival belt rig I showed you guys a few videos ago. So you've got two pockets down here to seal up with a flap, two pockets to the chest. The hood has a visor for sun protection as well as ventilation to help improve your hearing. There's a drawstring at the front as well as the back to help secure it around your head. There's also webbing loops throughout the jacket on the sleeves, on the hood, on the back for adding in vegetation, leaves, branches from the area to aid in additional camouflage. If camouflage is a priority, you're trying to be concealed out in the woods, the biggest indicators are typically the hands and the face. To help assist, you've got an extension that comes from the wrist and covers the back of the hands. It secures with a webbing loop. To mask the face, the suit also comes with a camouflage face net I've got good visibility, it's breathable, and I am covered. For the pants, there's elastic around the waist as well as a drawstring tie to help pull it in. You've got a button fly, wide belt loops for a heavy duty belt. There's also loops for adding in suspenders. Slant style pockets up front with a button flap closure. Roomy cargo pockets on either side as well as Two pockets at the rear with a button flap closure. The ankles, there's elastic around the ankles to help secure it around your boots. In addition, there's also reinforcement panels at the knees and the seat, all the high stress areas. That covers the basic features of the suit. Let's do a pocket dump and you can check out the survival kit and then we're gonna do a camo test. So starting at the top, we'll just work our way down. Camouflage face net water bladder, Sawyer Mini, down at our hips, We've got cotton cloth, schmog, Mylar blanket, bank line, tactical flashlight, other hip pocket, We've got a watch cap, bright orange whistle with a compass on the end, so a way to signal and a way to navigate. A little more bank line and a fair rod and a striker. That's it for the coat. Onto the pants on my belt. I've got my old hickory Kephart knife, belt knife. In my slant pockets, the front, I've got a Swiss Army knife and a lighter. A little more bank line and a little roll of gorilla tape. Right leg cargo pocket, I've got contractor bag left leg i've got a little bag with some bigfoot bushcraft fire starters mylar space blanket some wire leaders you can use these for fishing you can use these for snares 
We've got some food. This is almond butter, two little packs of it. I can use this for calories for myself. I can also use this to bait traps. And in here, I've got a little Altoids survival tin with some fish hooks, a lighter, some more fire starting stuff. It's not a ton of stuff, but it's enough to keep you going. We've got cutting tools, cordage, container, a way to fill the water, a couple means of combustion, plus emergency surefire. There is cover elements with our schmog, our hat, the net, as well as the trash bag and two mylar blankets. We've got some food, means of procuring food, light, and a way to navigate and signal. So essentially we have a basic 10C kit there, minus a canvas sail needle, but in lieu of that, I have my awl on my Swiss Army knife for making repair. In addition, we also have a little bit of food and some means of procuring more food with the traps, the snare wire, and the fishing kit. So pretty cool. Let's check out the camo. Pretty cool, huh? So I'm able to see the camera. I've got I've got eyes on you guys. Can you see me? So we just saw what it was like out here in this field and with the pine trees. Let's check out a more deciduous forest. Pretty cool for 70 year old camo. Two sides to work with. So depending on your environment, the time of year, you got a lot of options with this one. It's literally two suits in one and then some. So if you guys have any questions for me, just let me know down below. I'm happy to help. And if you wanna check it out for yourself, I'll have some links for you so you can check out both the Partisan M and the Summer Partisan at Russian Cold Camo. Huge thank you to Russian Cold Camo for sending this out. I'm so stoked. All right, everybody, it's going to do it for me for today. I hope you're all good wherever you're at, whatever you're doing. And if you want to see me do an overnighter with the smock and the survival kit you saw earlier, just let me know down below. Cheers, everybody.